Okay, uh, the second thing that you may see with shoulders as a therapist, if you ask people to touch their hands behind their back, you're testing external and internal rotation. If you're dealing with a client that played sport in their youth, mainly tennis or squash or throwing things, athletes, you must expect that on their dominant arm, left arm in my case, they will have a lot of external rotation. Okay? But on the same point, they will have less internal rotation. Stretch, release, you have to break, you have to stop the movement, otherwise your shoulder will dislocate. So remember that on their dominant arm, okay, in my case left, I'll have a lot of external rotation and less internal rotation. And I'll show you what this would look like. Okay. So I'm going to test right external rotation. Make a fist. Okay. And left internal. Make a fist. Okay. So they will try to get their fist as close as possible. I will take my measurements. Okay. Right hand side. Change. Okay. External rotation on the left. Right. Internal rotation on the right, much more. Okay. Please don't be surprised. Okay. Relax. This is generally quite normal. Okay. What you need to do is go one step further. Turn around this. Okay. I'm going to add up the rotation. So on the left, external rotation. Wow. Okay. Internal rotation. Finished. On the right, I will test external rotation, not as much as the left. She's left-handed. Okay, she'll have more external rotation on the left. Internal rotation on the right. More. Okay. So if I add up her total external and internal rotation on the right, and her total internal and external rotation on the left is pretty much equal. Okay, so please remember when you see differences in the shoulder rotation test, don't be surprised. Take a history, ask them if they played sports, what they did when they were younger, and you'll find that it's natural. Don't go trying to make them symmetrical. We weren't born symmetrical and very often the way we live our lives we become less symmetrical. Okay, thank you.